Just head back to the cabin. Oh. I cannot wait until whatever her name gets her face blown off. That's the best moment in the game. All right. She's such an. She's such an awful person. That's the best. Right. Let me look at you. You know, I actually almost like Booby less than I like her. <laughs> her man toy, Booby. <laughs> uh, she's rank 60 prestige in, in Call of Duty. That's why she has this golden gun. <laughs> Shoot her in the face. Actually, we tried shooting her at this moment last time. And uh, you get insta killed by this guy. So you just do her, her, her test. It doesn't even matter what you pick, actually. Yes, I understand, sir. Boo. B. <laughs> She's such a sadist. Good. Then let's start. Uh, you can actually pick anything, it doesn't even matter. So we're just gonna pick random ones. <laughs> Boobies over here laughing. She's a butterfly, makes me the most happy. I love butterflies. Froch. <laughs> Hey -o. Welcome back, Jasper. How was the food? I'm going to choose the skulls. The skulls make me feel disgusted. They don't really feel make me feel disgusted, but... In this, uh... In this scenario, where she probably killed these people, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say those. And so she does this no matter what you pick as well. Just to try and scare you, because she's a sadist. She enjoys seeing fear... Um, and uh, indecisiveness on people's face. Pick the skulls again. So the test basically is to see if you go for the gun to try and shoot her, which makes no sense anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like being sexually promiscuous with her under the table, which is a bit odd. Ich nehme mal an, ein bildhübsche Frau wird in seinem Abteil warten auf ihn. Ach, Bubi. Lass gut sein. Oh, Bubi, stop it. Vergessen Sie den Kaffee für Ihre Freundin. Yeah, right, right, Steen. Okay, and there's no loot in here. We found the piece of loot earlier. Uh, if it if this one respawned, it'll be, I think, right to the left in here. <clears throat> Let's see real quick. <laughs> These guys are crazy looking. So, it's kind of interesting. They show you the advancement in technology that they underwent, right? Like, 14 years ago when we, when we almost died at that place and got the shrapnel in our place, in our head, um, these dudes were still humans. They still were like, you could see the metal like was ingrained in their flesh and all that, and now they're no longer, they're completely mechanized, they're no longer human at all. Do you like booby? I do. <laughs> no. 
That's a good one, Egan. That's a good one. <laughs> okay, yeah, actually there is a lore piece here, so we're gonna we're gonna take a break and read this real quick. Berlin. October eleventh, nineteen sixty. Next month the Dynamic Four will enter so the, the the Dynamic Four are basically the Nazi German version of the Beatles. This is kind of like a clever little piece of side history. <laughs> Your voice for that. Yeah, look at this. This is like the you can see the yellow submarine right here. It's just phenomenal the response we've got with our latest album. It's 1960, so that's right around, right around when the um, Beatles were becoming popular. Who got himself in trouble last week when they forgot to... Their name is Die Koffer, the Wolfgang Trapper. Who got himself in trouble last week when they forgot to thank the fur before starting their concert. Has also announced they will star in a new TV show about the adventures of a world-famous boy band. Yeah, yeah. Cool little piece of side lore. I kind of like that stuff, all the, all the, uh, like, parallel timeline stuff. Kind of... Dude's knocked out. Hey, Anya. Here. Right here, don't worry. She's, like, looking for me because she's afraid I'm lost. Because, obviously, I still have pretty severe brain trauma. New limestone deposits discovered in Croatia. A rich deposit of limestone has been discovered in a few kilometers north of Belica, Croatia. The geologist who surveyed the site says that there is an abundance of a special composition of limestone that is very suitable for the manufacture of super concrete, the material used by the Reich architects when constructing new buildings. This would be our biggest find yet, commented the geologist when he rang her up yesterday. And this is pretty pivotal, pivotal because the super concrete they're building um, is almost impenetrable by most things except really high, high intensity explosions and this very specific type of mold that we use later on in the game to help degrade their infrastructure. Hey, hey Anya. William? Yes. Is that for me? Yes. Yes. You know there's just one bed. All right, yes. everyone under the age of 15, close your eyes. Are you comfortable sharing? Sometimes Christmas, sometimes birthdays. So again, you can hear him talking about how he has severe memory loss, how things just flick between each other. Sometimes birthdays, sometimes Christmas, sometimes mayhem. Sometimes you just need to feel. Just like in the mental hospital. Something good. I know where to go. The way to get inside Eisenberg prison. There's a hotel. It's on the same street as secret police headquarters. And see how it just flicked to this. They're in the hotel now. Police headquarters is notorious here in Berlin. It's also an effective way of kind of transitioning. Questioning. They torture them. Oh my. They drive them back to Eisenwald prison. Right. If they're still alive. <laughs> Something's happening. There's a prison transport arriving. Come quickly. Come quickly. I have to look for loot first. William. <laughs> Sorry, excuse me. I'll just be looting. Oh, is this escaping prisoner eaten by Panzerhoden? Berlin, October twelfth, nineteen sixty. A prisoner trying to escape Eisenwald. Eisenwald. So Eisenwald is this prison in the middle of Berlin, the capital of the Nazi Empire, who's already won um, the war and all that stuff. Where they keep all of the resistance. They keep all of the resistance fighters that they find, and they torture them, and obviously use them in medical experiments and all that. Um, last week, found himself in the belly of a beast when he was eaten alive by one of the guards, Panzerhoden. The gods tried to pull out the prisoner from the metal jaws of the Panzerhaden, but the superiority of the Reich technology. And what's really cool is they slip all of these, like, weird um, propaganda things <laughs> into uh, into the news articles like it actually was in Germany during the war, right? There was this, like, the superiority of everyone, blah, 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 blah. The Reich technology made the rescuing attempt futile. The prisoner was convicted murderer and rapist, who will certainly not be missed. Okay, cool. Onward! 
They're making a pickup. You find a way to get down on the roof of that prison transport bus. You hide on that roof and you can ride it all the way into Eisenbeck prison. I go down and distract the guard. And maybe he won't see you. Oh, Anya. You're the best. I'm going in solo to probably one of the most high security prisons in the world. This is true with the Nazis. They're not lacking in vanity. Okay, let's sneak aboard this prison transport. Yeah, that is pretty. In the Nazi capital, look at that. Got a letter, let's read this real quick. I don't think we read this one last time. Considering your muscles have atrophied over the last decade and you have to relearn how to do everything. <laughs> Right? Yeah, pretty much. There is gold here. We actually might have missed some of this gold, which is unfortunate. But I, no, no, we, we can't have. There's no way. We didn't, we haven't gotten any of it. Oh, this one we actually have found, the gold helmet. But the previous, and we found this one on the last time we played through this level. So there's three that we actually missed last time. So hopefully we'll be able to find that this go around. All right, where's the letter? To Father... Helmut Hoffman, the Berlin Church of the Third Reich. Oh, wow, this is the Church of the Third Reich. Did you know that in the mythology of the indigenous people of Peru, the Quechan people, there's a figure called the Pishtaku, or the Butcher. They describe him as a white murderer dressed in a poncho and wide-brimmed hat carrying a sickle who extracts the fat from the bodies of the Quechans. Questions? I don't know how to say that word. He kills. He may sound strange, but I think it speaks volumes to the relationship between the indigenous people of this land and the Spanish conquerors who came here long ago. I've been thinking about the Pishtaku more and more recently, with an accompanying anger brewing in my heart. A month ago, I lived close to a family of Quechans here in Ayacha. I can't say that word. Trying to convert them to the Roman Catholic faith. I became friends with the youngest child of the family, a boy named Hostu, which apparently means Bird of the Andes. Hostu has been my guide in all things related to the culture of the Quechans. Quechuans. It's quite fascinating. Even though I weep for them, that they may never come to the paradise unless they convert to the true faith. Two weeks ago, I climbed the mountains of the Andes together with the Hostu to visit the sacrificial grounds for the Apis, the mountain gods. The view from up there was breathtaking. What little breath I had left after the steep climb. I was to be an observer during the ritual to the gods, which involved the sacrifice of a llama. I was to take note and re record their strange rituals and the paraphernalia thereof. When our soldiers came, I remember a question shaman calmly walking up to the soldier officer in charge. The officer leveled a gun at his head and shot him clean through. I shouted at him, what are you doing? And he said, stay out of this, father. This is a sanctioned purge. What, Jesus, that's awful. Yeah, they started killing indiscriminately, killing everything that walked or tried to call, crawl away to safety. I managed to get Hostu and to run away before one of the soldiers knocked me out with the butt of his rifle. I woke up and there was, were no questions left in a yacht. Ayacucho. They were just gone. I searched for Hostu, but couldn't find him. Early, either he was found and shot, or he managed to stay hidden up in the mountains. It pains me to see all these atrocities committed by my people. I'm reminded once again of the Pishtaku, the white murderers who came here and, sl and slaughter these people for their own evil purposes. Can you speak of someone, Helmut? Someone who can put a stop to this nonsense, this barbaric nonsense? It's gotta go on. It cannot go on in the name of the Lord. I have packed my bag, bought warm clothes and sturdy shoes. I'm, I've even gotten hold of a gun for protection. Tonight I will go up to the mountains and search for my friend Hatsu. I hope to see a new dawn when I return. Wish me luck, your devoted friend, Father Edmund Kruger. So yeah, this is just again showing the atrocities of them killing off all these different, all these different races and religions of people. Serial killer on the loose. Murder duo suspect. The rash of murders which has plagued the city for the last couple of months may be the work of a degenerate murder duo. Sources close the investigation say, close to the investigation say, so far five people have been killed. Each victim has been found dismembered and scattered through the sewers. Witness reports speak of two strange men, most likely mentally and physically disabled, lurking around the crime scenes. They did not look like normal, decent Berlin folk to me, says one witness. Must have been them who did this awful thing. This is kind of a weird news article, article to me because we don't really find anything else related to it. And I guess it must be some, like, historical, um, 
parallel thing that I don't really know about. Some serial killers who were brothers. Or whatever, something like that. <laughs> and they're playing the propaganda over the uh, loudspeakers. All right, so in here we get the our first look at the laser at our laser gun, which is kind of a pivotal piece of technology. It's kind of the I don't know cliche like new weapon that you end up using. Curious gadget, useless without a battery. Let's grab the battery. And so we use this throughout the entire game to kind of manipulate different puzzles and get through different areas. And we also eventually end up being able to kill people with it too. Go to recharge. Yeah, the gun overall gets really cool later on in the game. It becomes like automatic and you can you can like zoom in and kill like 10 people with one blast of it. Pretty badass. And make sure we're not missing any loot in here. I believe there was something like hidden over here at some point earlier on. Uh, but we, we would have already grabbed that one. Definitely want to stock up on armor as well. I'm gonna bust all the boxes in this area. Okay, let's go. So they take all of our weapons away. I don't know if this guy turns around or not. I don't think he does. Yeah, he doesn't. Okay. Yeah, but they take all our weapons away for this part because obviously we're infiltrating a um, prison. Oh. Nope. 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 I think this guy's going to come around here. We can just shank him when he sees us. Maybe? Come on. You didn't see anything. You didn't see anything, you fool. Jesus, these guys are really observant. So th this guy is really, like, we're, we're supposed to be sneaking up on this guy, right? But he doesn't, he's not very observant. He doesn't hear all his soldiers yelling, which is pretty nice. What this is, another news piece. Moscow, October 12th, 1960. Located near the northern part of the Ural Mountains, not far from the Carissi, the Death's Head Commando Training Comp Camps are considered to be the toughest in the world. In a series of investigative reports, we reveal how these fierce combatants manage to live through their days in extreme cold temperatures and how it makes them the superior warriors. All right, moving on. Should be only be a couple more of these guys. Here's the dog. So if you look closely, see how he's he's a real dog? He just has all this armor bolted into his body. See that, all these modifications? Yeah, it's pretty brutal. <laughs> Kind of sad, actually. And you can see how he's bleeding and all that as well.
All right, let's go answer this phone and then kill the commander guy. Actually, let's kill the commander guy first, because that phone will continue to ring until later. Sorry, pup. I know. Pretty sad. Hey, buddy. Alright, so I think that we missed loot in here. We definitely never found that Enigma piece last time. Uh, this is the first German landing on the moon. You know, the United States originally did this, obviously, but in this uh, counter-historical line, the Germans did it. They, they even named the guy... What, what is his name? Uh, astronaut Hans Armstock, which is very similar to, the, to uh, Armstrong. Let's go search through this whole area. We're gonna go answer that phone as well. Oops. We're gonna try and find the map to this area so we can make sure we're not missing anything. Listening to some nice music. Yeah, I feel like we did miss some treasure in this area. Somewhere, but they, they do hide the treasure fairly well, so it's really difficult to find if you don't have the map. Oh! No, that's just a normal helmet. Damn it. Alright, let's answer the phone real quick. So this guy thinks that we're one of the officers here. And he's upset. He is the officer that's driving the bus, or sending the prisoners back from here to Eisenwald the prison, and it's the one we're going to stow, stow away on. Look, look, look how pissed off he is. <laughs> Just hangs up, because we don't speak barely any German, and so we can't say anything back, obviously. Pretty funny. What was that? Hmm. Oh, there is these collectibles. No, these are just Enigma pieces. So these are Enigma pieces that we're missing. Um, I think we just found like nine. I don't know which one we just found actually. Yeah, there's definitely stuff in here that we haven't found. This looks like a map, but we can't grab it. Oh, wait, what? Huh. What the hell? That was, I, I'm so confused. We just picked these papers up from right here and put them in the filing cabinet and the secret entrance just opened up completely randomly. Holy shit, I'm glad, I'm glad we found this then. So this is 8-7. This should be the first one of this area. So then there's only one other from this entire mission that we've that we're missing. And it's um we just found this one. And in the dude's office there's this one. So this one probably is at the prison. What to find it somewhere. Jesus, that's crazy. Look at this secret place. Some armor. Sure we're not missing anything else in here. Bloodstained paper. Damn, dude, that is really well hidden. Good thing I felt so weird about not being able to find anything else. Or we would have completely missed that again. That was crazy. <laughs> really strange. Okay. I'm going to do one more sweep of this whole place and then move on. This is kind of a random area, but I'm guessing they were feeding the dog, like the prisoners and stuff in here. Or torturing them in here. 
Okay. Let's go.